actually signed up to this service yesterday um, because I was recommended by a whole bunch of people in the industry that this is a really great place to meet people. And it was great to hear from the NHU and what the NHU is doing at the moment. It's about seeing faces that you know, like people seeing your face. For me, as someone that's just starting to come into the industry, I think it's good for people to like recognise you. And coming regularly, people do say, oh, like, you've been here before, like, what do you do? Today we've had a discussion with um, Julian Hector and it was a really nice sort of start to the summer really and there was a real positive message from the BBC about we're sort of year one of the new changes at the BBC and although there have been a lot of changes in our industry um, and it's been a bit of a bumpy ride for everybody really, it feels like the ride's smoothing out so I thought that was quite exciting. VMI's kit is really amazing. It's amazing to see the really slow, slow motion cameras that are making TV so much more glossy at the moment and are really, with a new smaller size of them, a lot of them are much more usable in the wildlife scenes. And it's great to be able to see them demonstrated live, even if the light is blinding. So this is um, the Alexa Mini. Um, it's kind of more of a traditional commercial or dr drama camera, but we think these new um, cow evolutions are going to add a bit of kind of like spice to even maybe to natural history. So um, these are the PS Technic cow evolutions. Um, PS Tech is a German company um, that traditionally have rehoused um, cow glass, which is an old Japanese um, anamorphic glass. But what they've done now with the evolutions is they've um, redeveloped the optics as well. So that their, their new optics with the old kind of retro Japanese look. But now with modern reliable mechanics, so you, you can have three axis control at the moment, we've got two axis, so iris um, and focus. So you're not on the old kind of mechanics from the 60s and 70s anymore. You don't need a really high torque motor and when you do pull, it's consistent throughout. Basically what we've got here, this is the, um, the iFootage uh, shark slider. Basically what it is, is it's a portable electronic uh, digitised slider that works via remote control. You can actually choose um, how many photographs you want it to take, and what exposure you want it to give. It will tell you how long it will take as well, so it's doing 100 pictures. And uh, with a one second exposure, and an interval of five seconds, so it said, it said to me that's going to take eight minutes to do. So right now, presently, it's now doing one second exposure and then moving. So it's the Canon ME20 FSSH, uh, not the catcher's name. Um, we've had it for about two years. Um, we actually own a couple of them. Um, it's the 4 million ISO, so it can literally shoot in the dark. It will enable you to basically get better colour retention and also have easier noise to deal with than, say, the A7S. They actually used, it may have been this one or other one, on Blue Planets um, for the Manta Ray um, bioluminescence sequence. Um, yeah, for that one, we actually had a couple of the guys come out from Blue Planet, spent the afternoon and with some dying glow sticks taking both cameras through the paces. But yeah, it's a great camera. Today we're showing the Phantom VO 4K. This is uh, Phantom's latest camera, and just like the Flex, it shoots 1,000 frames per second in 4K with either a global shutter or a regular shutter. Um, so in terms of performance, um, it shoots exactly the same pictures as the Flex does. And as you can see from here, it's uh, just recorded this uh, scene of. Uh, Memory stick being dropped at 2,000 frames per second. I mean, it does look quite spectacular. Probably the most impressive thing about this camera compared to uh, Flex is the power capability. So if I turn around, you can see that we've got very, very small mini V-Lock batteries. Two of these power uh, the VO4 kit for three hours. In fact, it was about three and a half hours yesterday uh, during demos. We're very excited about this. We've already got our second camera order, which is arriving uh, in June.